In this video, I'm going to show you how to use mental math to divide. You can use mental math to divide whenever there are two numbers, a dividend and a divisor, that have a basic math fact and have zeros or are multiples of 10. In the first example, we have 18,000 divided by 6,000. The first step that we're gonna take is to underline the simple basic math fact in the problem. So we're gonna look at our dividend and divisor and look for the fact. 18 divided by six is a basic math fact. So we're going to underline 18 and six. 18 divided by six is equal to three, so we're going to record that in the answer area. Now we have to think about the fact that we're taking 18,000 and splitting it into groups of 6,000. And when that happens, there's going to be a lot in each group. So there can only be a few groups of this. If we take 18,000 and split it into groups of 6,000, there are only going to be three groups. We can also do a trick where we cross out zeros from both the dividend and divisor. When we do this, we're going to cross out one zero from the dividend and one zero from the divisor and we're going to do that as many times as we can as long as we're crossing out the same amount of zeros in both the dividend and the divisor. When we do this, we're able to cross out three zeros from both the dividend and divisor, so we end up with just 18 divided by six, which equals three. So 18,000 divided by 6,000 equals three. In the second example, we're dividing 900 by 30. So we're taking 900 and we're splitting it into 30 groups, or you could think of it as 900 being split into groups of 30. To use mental math, we're gonna look for the basic math fact. In this case, it's nine divided by three. So we're going to underline nine divided by three, which is three. Next, we're going to cross out zeros from our dividend and divisor. This time we can only cross out one zero from each. So 900 divided by 30 becomes 90 divided by three. Because we've done our nine divided by three, which equals three, we have to bring that zero from 90 with it. So 900 divided by 30 is equal to 30. You can also check your answer by multiplying. 30 times 30 equals 900. The last example we're going to look at is a word problem. A box holds 500 paper clips. If a large container of boxes can hold 40,000 paper clips, how many boxes of paper clips are in the container? So the container has all of the boxes in it with a combined amount of 40,000 paper clips. This is separated into boxes that hold 500. So we're going to record the expression 40,000 divided by 500. Now we need to look for the basic math fact, which might be a little tricky in this one. And in this case, it is 40 divided by five. So we're going to underline 40 divided by five, which equals eight. Now we're going to cancel out zeros from our dividend and divisor. We can cross out two zeros from both the dividend and the divisor. So what we're left with is 400 divided by five. Since we did 40 divided by five, which equals eight, we have one zero left over in our dividend, which we bring to the quotient. So 40,000 divided by 500 equals 80. 